Get under, get under. Miguel, uh, nothing. Uh, Mama, Papa, I... Miguel, your abuelita had the most wonderful idea. Abuelita comes from the Spanish word abuela, which means grandmother in Spanish. When you add the suffix ita to a word in Spanish, it makes that word cuter. This is the Rivera family. They're shoemakers and they don't like music at all. Miguel is the boy to the right. Miguel is the only person that loves music in his family. His family is not happy with that. We've all decided it's time you joined us in the workshop. They're trying to get him to work with them so that he stops singing and playing the guitar. Look at that face. Do you think he's enjoying it right now? What? No more shining shoes. You will be making them every day after school. Oh, our Miguelito carrying on the family tradition. And on Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican holiday. It literally means the day of the dead. It's a great opportunity to remember the family members who passed away. Your ancestors will be so proud. You'll craft huaraches just like your Tia Victoria. Two things. Huaraches are a type of Mexican sandal. Here's a picture. Tia means aunt in Spanish. And wingtips like your Papa Julio. A wingtip is a type of Mexican shoe that has a W shape on the toe. You can see it here. Oh. But what if I'm no good at making shoes? <laughs> Ay, Miguel, you have your family here to guide you. You are a Rivera. In a Rivera. Eh? Miguel is really not happy with his family's decision. His face tells just that, unfortunately. Is a shoemaker through and through. That's my boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Berto, break out the good stuff! <laughs> Bienvenidos a otra lección de vídeo donde aprenderemos el vocabulario más avanzado inglés a través de grandes películas, series y vídeos. Why is this in Spanish? Oh, right. Welcome to another video lesson where you will learn amazing English vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation through great movies, series, and YouTube videos. I'm your teacher, Brock Chanel, and it is fantastic to see you again. In this Learn English with Movies video, we're watching a scene from Coco together. Coco is not only one of the best Disney movies ever, but it is one of the best movies ever. I especially love how true it is to the Mexican culture and I have no words for the story. Go ahead and subscribe to Loom now and click the bell button next to the subscribe button to learn English with movies with me. Now, let's go and hide from the abuelita. If we can. Miguel, your abuelita had the most wonderful idea. We've all decided it's time you joined us in the workshop. A workshop is a small room where people make things using tools and machines. In the movie, you can actually see the workshop that Miguel's papa is talking about. Because the Rivera family are shoemakers, you can see many shoemaking tools inside. Maybe the most famous workshop in the world is Santa's workshop. Santa and his helper elves prepare presents for all the good children around the world. We've all decided it's time you joined us in the workshop. What? No more shining shoes. If you follow the phrase no more with any kind of action or thing, what you mean is in the future, there won't be any of that action or that thing. For example, in this scene, Miguel's father says, No more shining shoes. By saying that, he means Miguel will not be doing shoe shining anymore. We can use this phrase in other contexts too. If a child doesn't listen to their parents, their parents can say, No more games for you. 
This would mean that the child will not be able to play games in the future. Poor fellow! Did you also know that when we say someone is no more, the meaning of no more changes greatly? If someone is no more, that person is dead. What? No more shining shoes. You will be making them every day after school. Oh, our Miguelito carrying on the family tradition. To carry on means to continue to do something. When Miguel's abuela says, carrying on the family tradition, her meaning is she is proud of Miguel because Miguel will keep doing what the Rivera family has been doing for generations. Some similar words and phrases to carry on are to keep doing something. For example, he keeps talking to me, but I don't like it. Another word would be to persevere, which means to continue doing what you are doing, even though you might have some problems. Her determination helped her persevere is a good example. And the antonym of to carry on is to stop doing something. We'll never stop learning and carry on improving. Carrying on the family tradition and on Dia de los Muertos, your ancestors will be so proud. You'll craft huaraches. To craft means to make something by hand that requires a lot of skill. Making shoes is no easy business. That is why it's called a craft. As you can see, the word craft can be both a noun and a verb. In addition to shoemakers, some other craftspeople are tailors who make or repair clothing and carpenters who make or repair wooden objects. Are you into any type of craft? If so, let me know in the comments. and wingtips like your papa Julio. But uh, what if I'm no good at making sure? What if is a very useful phrase that you should integrate into your speech. The phrase what if has at least two uses. We can use it to express concern about a situation in the future. For example, our friend wants us to go with him to a forest. At night, we are worried that there could be some dangerous animals in the forest. We can say, what if there are dangerous animals there? What are we going to do? The other use of what if is to ask about a possibility in the future. Example, what if you win the lottery tomorrow? What would you do? Of course, we can use this phrase for past situations as well. Example, what if we hadn't been home? The fire would have spread everywhere. What if I'm no good at making shoes? You are a Rivera, and a Rivera is... A shoemaker, through and through. Through and through means completely. Other ways of saying through and through are fully, absolutely, and thoroughly. When Miguel says, A shoemaker, through and through, he is actually quoting what his family believes in. According to Miguel's family, if you're a Rivera, you must be a shoemaker and nothing more. So, Miguel must be a shoemaker fully a shoemaker through and through that's my boy <laughs> Berto, break out the <laughs> mm. yeah. your abuelita had the most wonderful idea we've all decided it's time you joined us in the workshop <laughs> More shining shoes.
You will be making them every day after school. Oh, our Miguelito carrying on the family tradition. And on Dia de los Muertos, your ancestors will be so proud. You'll craft huaraches just like your Tia Victoria. You are a Rivera, and a Rivera is... A shoemaker, through and through. Felicidades! You collected all the stars and you were great with the questions. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on our social media accounts. Thanks for being with me in another video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care and loom now.